Hello again and welcome to day five of the 12 days of summer writing and hopefully by now you'll be starting to see uh, a pattern in terms of how and where and when you write and it's it's really wonderful that you're carving out this time for yourself to to prioritize your all-important writing craft perhaps you can make your writing space um, somewhere something a bit more special than it is already by maybe adding something like a, an inspirational picture or even just like cushion or a candle or a, a quote that you can look up look at that gets you uh, really in the mood for writing or uh, some music um, that really helps with that that muse of writing uh, something like that and so before I uh, continue with today's writing prompt I'd just like to give a bit of a mention to my uh, Patreon page so that's that's uh, P-A-T-R-E-O-N and can be found at www.patreon.com and searching for Maria Franklin and this is uh, a place where we as creators can be uh, supported for our free offerings like this uh, such as this course um, so as I know not everybody has a budget uh, especially at this uncertain time so I do get real pleasure and I love helping other writers um, by providing offerings such as this periodically knowing that it can help other writers um, and one or two writers have been in touch with me offering wanting to sort of give a show a token of appreciation for what I do what I put out there um, and I, I'd just like to mention that for the equivalent of like maybe a coffee a month and as you know we writers drink lots of coffee and um, you can support me on uh, Patreon and um, so searching for Maria Franklin there and in return for this you get access to 10 help sheets which are to do with the foundations of writing you get one a free signed paperback of your choice that I have written after six months months of being a member there and you get to join in a monthly uh, question and answer session which I record and deal with the questions that are sent to me from the writers who support me there. Um, so I've, I've just had a couple more writers um, join up there and support me. It means the absolute world to me. It demonstrates that the, the value, what I'm putting out there, um, my, my contribution to their writing and want it to continue. Um, so if you do sign up if you do want to join me there and you do want to come along and um, then you're just in time to join this month's question and answer uh, session um, anyway right on to today's uh, summer writing prompt uh, and the focus today is going to be on the ocean or the beach or both so we're going to the coast for this today's writing prompt so I want you to start by making a list of as many words as you can associated with your favourite seaside place. Uh, so take yourself back there in your mind to what you like to be doing when you're there. So for me, it would be walking along the water's edge first thing in the morning, uh, somewhere like Bridlington or Filey. I love the, the East Yorkshire coast. Uh, so list as many words as you can and take it really take yourself back there maybe close your eyes for a moment and hear and smell and, and visualize and then I'd like you to make some notes under the following headings in preparation for writing today's piece so firstly where are you who are you with if anyone I think this is something I quite like to do on my own sometimes it can be yeah, a good place for churning out writing ideas what are you doing what has brought you there what can you see around you include colours what can you hear what can you smell or what's what, what can you taste how are you feeling what are your thoughts on leaving this place behind so hopefully by the time you've made responses to that initial list um, you'll, you'll be raring to write um, and you, you can write a poem or a story or a reflection. Um, I'd say just let it find its own form but just make it as evocative as you can and I've seen from some of the responses that have been coming into the Facebook group there's some just really evocative pieces in there I'm just so impressed with the quality of what's going in there and people are saying oh this is first draft stuff which makes it even more impressive 
um, and at this time of lockdown I'm missing the seaside so much that I'm really looking forward to seeing some of your responses in the Facebook group over the next day or so. So happy writing and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.